So I just got into Donna's house here. Let's see the diaper here. I never seen a home like this before. I think that's the bed. Or maybe they share it. Hey buddy. Little wallaby. Yeah. It's like a lion. It's like a lion, you know, because this is this is Australia. They only live here. Yeah. What kind of animal is this? This is minty tea. Early fire and bubble. Interesting house. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad here, but cool. Maybe it will fight me. Let's see. Oh, this is a wall room. Yeah, that's, see, that's, that's the mix. So I have 40. 40. Oh. So we're driving here to the kangaroo. Oh, we drove in it. It's crazy, man. It can it can still run. Just hit a fucking kangaroo on the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try giving me the gun. It's like being on a fucking safari and we just drove here by ourselves. So we have some dingoes hanging here for scaring other dingoes. It's really wild here in the, in the bush area in Australia. I was visiting my friend Jake in Australia, in the outback of Australia. He told me that there was a lady with a kangaroo as a pet. So we decided to go and visit her. But to our big surprise, she did not only have one kangaroo as a pet, she had 40 inside her house. And later we also saw she had a hawk, owl, and a lot more animals. So, look here. Donna's house. It's like entering a house from a children's book full of animals, fun and entertaining characters. So I just got into Donna's house here and this is something else. This is an amazing home. Yeah, look here, a wallaby and cats and dogs, but that's not, see here. Oh, an owl. I've never seen an owl with that mouth before. And if we go inside here, oh, see the wallaby again. <laughs> and if we go inside here, the bedroom, we have a kangaroo, actually two, with diapers on. Hello, buddy. Don't box me. Oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> see the diaper here and the bed and another kangaroo here. So the thing is when the mothers the mother's, uh, yeah, the kangaroo's mother's dying, um, shot or anything. And then uh, some people that bring them here for Donna, and then she take care, take care of them. Wow! <laughs> I never seen a home like this before. Just uh, wild animals walking around everywhere. Kangaroos, which only lives in Australia. Wallabies only lives in Australia, and uh, the special owl. Never seen it. Oh, see, they have some food here inside the house, which they are eating from. And I think that's their bed. Or maybe they share it. I don't know. Uh, so the owner sees. Not so fond of being filmed, and uh, but that's okay. It's not the main purpose here. So, yeah. So I don't know if she's sleeping here as well. I'll ask her. If she sleeps with the <laughs> kangaroos, if they sleep next to her. Wow. <laughs> Hello, are you shy? Sorry. Oh, a little shy. This one is not so shy. Hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy. Fry islands. Fry Yeah, if you go to Gary, it's a lot again. It's actually breathing specifically to get hunted. It's pretty tight. It's very, it's terrible. So I got there, I was like, Brian, and they're like, oh yeah, we shoot them. What? Look at this. Yeah. Little wallaby. <laughs> oh, how sweet it is. It's so funny. Look, this is like a lion for him. Don't yeah. It's like a lion for him. It's like a lion, you know, because this is this is Australia. They only live here. Yeah. So it's it's even more rare for me to see this. Oh, she even have it. What kind of animal is this? Yeah. Uh, it is an owl. Yeah, because I've never seen an owl with that mouth before. Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice <laughs> possum. This is minty tea. <laughs> minty tea? <laughs> Woo. Look here. <laughs> Wow. See the turtle? So are they used to just... Oh, oh, 
Oh, not Are they walking around in the house and stuff? Yeah, well, she gets out and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She has a, a possum here, uh, kangaroos inside here, an owl, cats and dogs. See here? And a wallaby. Wow, it's amazing. So they do have a bed. They have like a proper bed. Is this, is this their own bed? What's the wallaby's name here? That one, um, Freya. Freya, yeah. And Ernie? Ernie, Freya, and Bubble. Uh, I'm sorry, Blind Man. Oh. He's not that shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Oh, really cool. And sweet. Huh. Can you see, see yourself in the mirror? See? Yeah, he's half blind. I think he can just see shadows. Oh, maybe. Yeah, you are still here. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll try to go out. You're living here as well? Me, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I live out the road with my boyfriend. Ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is mad here. It's mad here, but cool. Whoa, dogs and another kangaroo outside here. Hello. So she takes care of all the kangaroos when the mothers died and yeah. Hello, hello. Even more here. I thought she only had one. And now it seems like the house and the, the backyard here is just full of kangaroos and wallabies and oh this is a big one oh, maybe it will fight me ah, i think these are friendly let's see hello kind of friendly hey buddy ah oh, seems they have a nice life here with their new mother ah oh, it's amazing i thought she only had one and there's loads of kangaroos and wallabies and other animals. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, birds. Wow. So that's a specific desert hawk, that one. That's a bird of prey. Yeah, a hawk? Yes, he's only a baby. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> See, I never knew you had this. I only thought you still had only the inside. So she has all these animals here, mostly wallabies and the kangaroos, of course. <laughs> and then, yeah, she got them inside as well in her house. Take care of them when, yeah, when they suffer, they don't have any families, no mother, no nothing. So this nice lady, she's taking care of them. Let's see what inside here. She has a lot of these uh, wagons here for camping, but there's only like, I don't know, a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> Amelia, what do you think? It's a you like the place? Yeah. Yeah. Why are these nocturnals? They're all nocturnal. Ah, but the other ones? No, they'll, they'll, they'll sleep most of the day because it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, so Jake, my friend, he drove us here. She only, he only thought that she had like one inside for a pet. But now she has saved a lot of kangaroos and wallabies and... Uh, This one's a wallaroo? Yeah, that's a wallaroo. That's, that's, oh, this is a wallaroo? Yeah, that's... See, that's, that's the mix. Yeah. yeah, they're a bit darker. They're really Yeah, cute. a mix between... Do, do they breed? Uh, the kangaroo and, and a Not wallaby. Don't. No, the only... I've only started... In the eight years, they've only just started breeding. Oh, look here. So this is the red one. This is more of the grey ones. But, uh... Yeah, but I'm sorry, I'm hey, buddy. 
It's okay. It's all okay. Just eat, mate. What do we have here? Oh, another one. Even though it's a fence here, they're not inside a fence. They can, he can go out. And in as well, in the house. They let them. So there's two inside the house now. And a wallaby, an owl inside the house. Let's try going again. <laughs> Never seen something like this. It's crazy, but in a very cool way. I like the way she's taking care of her. Yeah, all the wallabies and the roofs and yeah, being a mother Teresa for them, basically. Oh, here we can go in, see again. I'll drink some water here. What do we open here? Like this. Oh, close the door for the dog, maybe. Such an amazing place. Ah, it's, it's wild, man. You're living in the, I don't know, in the bush and the jungle and mixed together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and they all come good. They all come along with the dogs and everything. They come along with the dogs? Yeah. yeah. She has a lot of expenses herself for these saved animals. This is a private home, not an open sanctuary, etc. But if you want to visit this amazing home and maybe support her a little bit, you can leave me a comment and I can help you where to find this house. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So the red ones, they're usually bigger than the gray ones? Yes. Yeah, so he's about eight foot tall standing up. Yeah, wow. He's a big boy. Yeah. He could box me, yeah, like you've seen on TV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, none of my kangaroos do that because I brought them up as little children. Yeah, exactly. So they, be, they stay in the house for a long time and then they come out and so they all, yeah. you can touch them. And, yeah, you know. they're so used to humans. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, they, like, in their mind, they're like humans they are kind. Humans. Yeah, yes. they like them. Yeah, they're not. Oh, that's good. If you're in, in, in the paddock, though, they grab you on the arm and they try and rip you in and try and like rip your guts out and stuff. If, like if, if, oh, they're, if you're a bad predator to them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like if, you, if your dog goes after one, they would usually jump into water. Yeah. And then they grab your dog around the neck and then they'll start drowning the dog. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Have you rescued the dog? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get <laughs> away from it. <laughs> But the ones we saw in the wild, they were pretty scared. They, they, you know, they, they ran away. They're scared unless you go after them, and then they, if you put them in a corner, they yeah. get aggressive. Like every it's animal. Like fight or flight. I'll tell you, like, yeah. Okay. And if you hear that noise, you know they're telling you to fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So, but most of them, they don't feel threatened here. No. Oh. Because it's a love. I really love your place, Donna. And thank you for letting us in. Yeah, thank you so much. Like I said, if you just want to come at 5.30 at feeding time, so mm -hmm. you can actually see everything happening. Yeah. yeah. So you're not feeding them now with this? This is not their main food? Yes. So what they eat is uh, marsupial pellets, uh, hay, um, and then I get vegetables in the afternoon um, from feed work. So I get all oh. the like, lettuce, um, sweet potatoes, zucchinis, and all the fruit. Yeah. So I get big boxes and I throw them out every afternoon. For them. How many days? Do you feed them like several days then? No, several times a day? day? Yeah, two, twice a day. Twice a day, yeah. Yeah. So I have 40 kangaroos here. 40? Oh. Yes, that's what I mean. When you come at feeding time, you'll see 40 kangaroos out here. Ah, it's because they're under the, yeah, the house now? Yeah, they're other places. So yeah. It's quite amazing and you can see it, you know. Wow. So how, for how long have you been doing this? Eight years here. Eight years? Yeah. Started with one baby and then <laughs> yeah, it yeah. just uh, <laughs> went <Yeah>. crazy? <laughs> yeah, but I've released a lot at the beginning, like I said, but they all die. They all, I see them on the uh. trucks and there's no way after two years 
next minute they're on the back of a truck dead. It was just killing me. Yeah. So I said, no more. That's yeah. it. So I'm going. I'm doing it a different way because the way I see it, there's you don't ever see them that big out there e ever. So mm -hmm. people get to touch them and hold them and, and actually have the education that they're amazing creatures. Yeah. You know, instead of just a shit. So we're driving here. So the kangaroo. Oh, we drove in it. Wow, shit. It's crazy, man. It can it can still run. You hit it quite bad. What about the car? Whoa! So we just hit a fucking kangaroo on the road. Was uh, jumping right in front of us. Yeah, look, it's there. Here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty strong. It can just, you know, run after. Whew. Fuck me, if I hit kangaroos, go away. Oh. So crazy, so I was walking here right before, and then I saw this beautiful, beautiful frog, this green frog. So I was touching it because, yeah, I want to take it up. And then my friend, he told me, oh, because he's living here, real Aussie, he was, told, he was telling me, no, 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 you can't do this. This is a very poisonous frog. So if uh, animals, like for example, cats and dogs, they eat this, they will fucking die. Yeah, so he told me to go wash my hands uh, very quick. Otherwise I could be sick as well. Maybe even die if I have some kind of sickness. So yeah, I did that. Oh, but it's very beautiful. Look here. Oh, fascinating. So there are so many animals out here, so yeah, you don't really know what to expect <laughs> of each animal. Oh, beautiful, right? Wow. <laughs> this pig really loves beer. What the fuck? Oh, now he's drunk. <laughs> I'll give him two. Two yeah. beds? He's a big guy. No. So sometimes your father's sitting here drinking with him? <laughs> no, no, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. But you still give him beer. How, how often? No, no, never. This is like, this is like a one stop every Hello. Ah, uh, it's very happy. Happy pig. You want a bit more? You want a bit more? Oh, something cool! Oh, you probably chose them. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, now I just went into this high grass here. Uh, so the snakes are more in the high grass. So uh, I will be careful where I where I step, and uh, yeah, and then I will try to go more down here by the river. That should be a, a bigger chance too. Maybe even if I'm totally lucky, I will I could see a koala. Now I made myself a little snake stick. Let's just call it that. So um, if I see the snakes here, I can do like this. Whoop, and then it's stuck there. Uh, if it has the uh, right size, of course. And then I can, yeah, grab the snake from there. So it's a lot easier. And I can even, you know, take it up here and then it will go angle around the stick maybe. So we'll see if the chance will be there. But it's, uh, it's a good way to get this. Take a look here, underneath here. See, oh, there is. There are shells here from snakes. Definitely cool. Maybe snakes in the area then. We're going more and more out in the outback here. We're going to see the kangaroos, but on our way here, there's a dead lizard. Ah, oh, smells very badly. Oh, wow. Oh, try to go close, it smells very badly. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, so we're basically going out here and finding the roos. I haven't seen some, but they, they saw. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go to Jake's ground, his property there. There's a lot of kangaroos. Um, so, yeah, 
probably shoot one if we can and then we will uh, feed them for uh, for the pigs so yeah they're like pests out here i don't know why but that's how it is that's how they do here so if you feel sorry for them like i do a little bit then uh you probably shouldn't because they're like a pest for them so yeah so when traveling i always do what the locals do and that's what i'm doing here so don't blame me i am documenting things around the world and uh, also in this case shooting kangaroos oh here we have the kangaroos in the wild so we drove drove out here in the bush well one jumping here wow it's a whole family so do you want to look through this thing Jenna? Mm -hmm. Out here shooting, practicing for uh, shooting kangaroos later. So uh, we have some goals over there, some cans and stuff. So now I'm going to try to hit it. Let's see if I'm ready to shoot roots later. I'm aiming for the red cola can. Oh, Wow, in the outback of Australia, oh, that's a kangaroo here, just looking at us. Okay, try giving me the gun. No, no, no. <laughs> Which one then? It's a female. It's a female? Mm -hmm. She's got a joey in her belly actually. Oh, you can see it? Mm -hmm. I tried to zoom. Baby no, we don't shoot this. No, it's it's sweet. Yeah. Kangaroo staring at us in the wild. Wow, so amazing! It's like, it's like being on a fucking safari, and we just drove here by ourselves. It's gone. No. Yeah. Now we just came by here. So we have some dingoes hanging here. So which is a wild Australian dog, basically. And uh, yeah, they are hanging here because they were shot uh, by some people here. So the reason why they hang them up here because dingoes are pretty smart. So when other dingoes, they see them here hanging, they will not come here again. They will be afraid and uh, yeah. So the reason why they don't want the dingoes here is because they are killing all the, the livestock. Uh, so this is for scaring other dingoes. They hang them up here. Uh, it, looks, it looks very brutal. But the meaning of it, I get. Wow. This is real Australia out here. So they're hanging here on the legs. There's some bones here. Wow. It's really wild here in the, in the bush area in Australia. At the same time, it's uh, such a cool area. All for now from Donna's amazing kangaroo house and shooting the roost too in the bush of Australia. I would like to hear thoughts about shooting kangaroos like the locals do here and of course also what you think about the roos, Mother Teresa and her place. I think this is the perfect place for an idea for a children's book. Don't you think Astrid Lindgren could have written a wonderful imaginational book which could have taken place here? I think so. Please like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating people and adventures around the world. See you soon.